Good morning. Hey guys, just wanted to share a few thoughts with you from the one year Bible reading from this morning. You know, really what's been standing out to me over the last several days, I know this is something we know, but it's just what's really standing out to me is that, you know, throughout the Bible, it's story after story of people hearing from God, like God speaking to people and people moving. And like we serve a God who wants to speak to us. And so it's just, you know, it's impressing upon me, like, man, I've got to hear from God really just about so many things going on in life, about direction. You know, we've got to hear from God because when people in the Bible hear from God and they obey it, great things happen. So we're in, we're in the book of Joshua in the Old Testament. And uh, God has told Joshua and the Israelites, go take the land. And in fact, every time they come to a city, he tells them, you know, take the city. I'm with you. Um, he tells them how to take the city. He, gives them the, he doesn't just tell them what to do. He gives them the strategy and how to do it. And then in today's reading, uh, we get to where Joshua and, and, and again, the Israelites, they, they've taken, they're starting to take some of these towns. And one of the towns hears about it and they get scared. And so they go out and deceive Joshua and they make it, they get Joshua to make a covenant with them that Joshua won't destroy them. And so, you know, he makes the covenant with them that he won't destroy them. But remember, God told him to destroy them. And so what happens is, you know, a little while later, Joshua figures out, oh, they deceived me. They're not who they said they were. And he doesn't destroy them because he made the covenant with them. And so we're reading in the story, really just one verse kind of stands out to me. And it says this. This is Joshua 9, verse 14. The men sampled some of their food. This is like, so they sampled some of the food from the, the people that were deceiving them. But they didn't seek the advice of Adonai. They didn't ask the Lord. Like, so they, they just kind of went and started engaging with these people and talking to these people. But they didn't seek the advice of God. And so, you know, it, it's just crazy because we read the story and success. You know, they hear from God, they have success. They hear from God, they have success. Something happens, they forget to ask the Lord. You know, we get caught up and maybe in some successes. We get caught up in thinking things are going well. And we stop and we forget to inquire of God and ask God, what is he, what is he saying? And so just really asking the Lord today, like, you know, God, what is going on in my life that I'm not asking you about? What is going on in my life that I need to hear from you on? God, what do you want to say to me? And so I just want to encourage you right now, especially, you know, if there's something going on in your life, you're really just kind of weighing some options or you're uh, thinking about uh, a decision that you have to make. Really the question for you this morning is, have you inquired of the Lord? Have you asked him? And, and are we patient enough to wait on the Lord? Like, can we wait and not move until uh, God answers? Um, man, story after story in the Bible, God wants to speak. Let's don't be um, like the Israelites here and forget to inquire of God. God wants to give you direction, strategy, vision, hope. He wants to, he wants to talk to you. And so whether it's about life in general or it's about something specific, don't forget to ask the Lord. Let's inquire of God. Let's hear his voice. Bless you guys. Hope you guys have a great day.